So in a previous lecture, we learned that social signals from websites like Facebook and Twitter will only indirectly impact SEO, meaning that activity and connections on those sites will not really influence what appears in the search engine results. However, the one exception to that is Google+, and that's the social network of Google itself. Connections and shares on that social network will actually directly impact what appears in the search engine results. This is absolutely huge because it gives you a huge shortcut to getting to the top of the search engine results. And really you only have to do maybe one tenth of the work that you would have to do with normal link building to get to the top of the search results. So this is not that well known. Um, and I think we're gonna hear a lot more about this over the next year. So I wanted to let you in on it now. And let's discuss this a little bit more. So let's look at an example now of how Google Plus can influence what appears in the first page of Google. So as you can see, I'm logged into my Google account and I've typed in air purifier here. And as you can see on our Moz bar here that we've got a uh, pretty high page authority and domain authority and links for these sites so obviously that's the traditional reason why they're on the first page. Otherwise is because they're localized companies, .ies are companies in Ireland. So this is probably the type of product that you want to buy locally. That's why they're appearing and Google's putting those in front of my search as well. But here down the bottom you can see that there is a Google Plus post from a company called Clear Air Plus. They're based in the US. So it doesn't make a lot of sense that they're here for local reasons. There's no links on the page. Um, so why are they appearing here? Well, the reason really is, is because I'm actually following these guys on Google+. Plus. So I started following them um, a couple of months ago just because they had some interesting content there. Um, but I haven't had any engage with, engagement with them since. So still that connection is really powerful in terms of what's appearing on the first page of Google for that particular search term. So you may be thinking, okay, that's great, but not a lot of my audience are on Google+. Plus. Well, you've got to remember that Google+, Plus is actually the second biggest social network. Anybody who has a Gmail account, anybody who has a YouTube account, automatically has a Google+, Plus account. And so there's great scope there for getting your audience onto Google+. Plus. So the beauty about this is, is that you don't even need to have a big following on Google+. Plus. If you can get your content in front of the key influencers in your niche and they plus want it and they share it to their audience, well then when their audience goes and searches in Google for a particular search term and your content matches up with that, then you have a much better chance of appearing on the first page of Google because they're connected to your influencers. So that is extremely powerful and a strategy that you should take advantage of. So just a quick uh, technical tip, when you are setting up a Google Plus page for your business, you first go into your normal profile and then you set up a, a particular page for your business. So it's a bit like the Facebook pages if you've ever set one of those up. So there you go, work away on that strategy and really take advantage of this remarkable opportunity.